its sovereignty over several of its islets and reefs located in the South China Sea being openly contested by Beijing and having to deal with the persistence of a jihadist threat. Manila is working hard to modernize and strengthen its military capacities by addressing in particular South Korea for its naval and air forces, as well as Israel, which has recently delivered two new fast missile launchers, FAICM, as well as the first Sabra light tanks. However, several cases have been pending for several years like the one concerning the purchase of two submarines, and for which the French naval group hopes to place its Scorpion. Or like the one relating to combat aircraft. As everything is a priority for the Philippine Armed Forces, Manila must make choices, while its finances are constrained. Already, the Philippine Air Force has received 12 F-A-50 Golden Eagle light fighters, acquired from Korea Aerospace Industries for $460 million. But this is still insufficient, given the extent of the archipelago. Also, in 2019, the Philippine government said it was considering the purchase of 12 fourth-generation fighter bombers, and to specify that the choice would be between the F-16 Block 7072nds Viper, from the American Lockheed Martin and Swedish Saab's JAS-39 Gripen. Two years later, the Defense Security Cooperation Agency DSCA, responsible for the export of American military equipment, gave the green light to the purchase of 12 F-16 Vipers in Manila, for an amount then estimated at just over $2.4 billion. A sum to which it was necessary to add $120 million for 12 anti-ship missiles AGM-84L-1 Harpoon Block II. Since Manila had planned an envelope of only $1 billion, things stopped there. However, Stockholm has not lost sight of this potential contract. Indeed, the Swedish ambassador to the Philippines, Annika Thunborg, recently pushed the application for the JAS-39 Gripen to Jose Faustino Jr., the Philippine Minister of Defense, during a courtesy visit on December 21. Indeed, reports the Philippine news agency, PNA, the exchanges between Swedish diplomacy and the Philippine minister mainly focused on Saab's offer for the Gripen. An offer to which Manila is clearly not insensitive. Mr. Faustino said he recognizes the potential of bilateral cooperation between the Philippines and Sweden, especially in the defense industry and logistics, the agency wrote on December 27. A priori, Saab's proposal differs from that made by Lockheed Martin by the possibility offered to Manila to rent the JAS-39 Gripen. Such a system had also been proposed to the Czech Republic and Hungary, which have since found their way there. Still, the expressions of interest of the Philippine authorities for the Swedish fighter bomber accumulate. At the beginning of the month, General Connor Anthony David Canlis visited the Saab factory and flew aboard a JAS-39D during AA visit to Sweden, made a few days before passing the baton to General Stephen P. Pereño at the head of the Philippine Air Force. In addition, at the same time, the Philippine President, Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., met the Swedish Prime Minister, Ulf Christensen, in Brussels, on the sidelines of a summit between the European Union and ASEAN. In any case, the Gripen has a few assets to show off, starting with its ability to fire the Meteor long-range air-to-air missile as well as the RBS-15 MK-3 anti-ship missile, a key capability for forces. Philippines to respond to Chinese claims.